May God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit come to bless, protect and free you from all evil. Right now, you are about to hear the two most powerful prayers in the Bible. Psalm 23 is a very strong prayer, to bring into your life, a change of scenario, to bring a time of honor, a time of plenty, to bring a time of prosperity. Psalm 23 is the psalm that causes God to take you out of the difficult moment, as the psalm itself says, that God would free you from the valley of the shadow of death. The valley of the shadow of death represents the bad day, the difficult day. Represents the moment of loss, of tribulation. But if you claim to God, with this prayer, with a lot of faith, in a short time, you will see the action of the Divine Holy Spirit, entering your life with providence, and making your cup to overflow. The callous to overflow means you being a blessing, in all areas of your life. Let's also pray Psalm 91. Psalm 91 is the most powerful prayer, to bring deliverance, protection, to break all bondages and also all spiritual attacks against your life. When you click on to God, and pray Psalm 91, you see God's act, deliverance. When we say this prayer, open your heart, and surrender yourself to the Lord, with all your faith. Pray with all your faith, and I am sure you will receive victory, a time of prosperity, a time of open doors, a time of honor, of change of scenario. And also a time of deliverance, of a lot of protection, that no evil comes near you. May no plague come near your life, your home, or your family. Let's pray. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge, his faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling. No harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For He will command His angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Lord our God and our Father. In this moment of prayer, under the blessings of Psalm 23 and 91, 
I want to pray now my God, for this life. And I want to ask Lord, that at this moment, your children, come to be touched, with all sort of blessings. May doors that are closed come to be opened. Those who are hearing this prayer now, who are out of work, who are in financial difficulty, your word says Lord, that you are our shepherd, and we will lack nothing. Then my God, I want to declare, that the door will open. Those who are in debt, I believe that provision, providence will arrive. And these debts will be paid. Those who are living in a difficult time, I believe that the Lord will take them out of this humiliation, this fight, this war. And it will bring a time of blessing and victory. I want to present the life of everyone who is listening to me at this moment, and who is under spiritual attacks. Suffering, being victimized, with envy, arrows of illnesses, illnesses, under words of curses. That at this moment, all enemy attacks fall to the ground. Do not prevail. Wherever this prayer arrives, may it bless the entire environment, and all the people who hear it. May it bring prosperity, may it bring peace, may it bring union, may it bring the light of the Lord. I declare all luck and all blessings on your life. About your home. About your family. In Lord Jesus' name. Pray with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Thank God. Believe, the blessing of Psalm 23, the blessing of Psalm 91, are on your life.